Hi, I'm Wayne McHugh, a member of the Doodly user community, uh, creator of the Doodly for Churches images add-on. Um, I'm a minister in the Uniting Church in Australia and back in the dark ages was a professional software developer. So um, like many of you, I've taken an interest in SVG files since Doodly supported them. And uh, in this video, I'm going to actually show you my complete workflow going from um, a color image through to a pair of um, SVG files, one black and white outline and the other one color ready for use in Doodly with the best performance I can create. Okay, I should declare up front what I've got um, to use for this process. Um, I'll show you my uh, fairly recently purchased XP pen um, drawing tablet that uh, well and truly worth the investment. Does a beautiful job for me, making it possible to draw things without destroying my wrist and doing things accurately. Um, I also have um, Adobe Photoshop CS5 and Illustrator CS5, so I'm not an Inkscape user and uh, I can't advise people on how to use Inkscape. Okay, I'll be taking a picture from the, uh, from the collection of images by Christian artist Masaru Hori. Uh, with his permission, I'm able to take his collection and um, prepare it for use in Doodly and distribute it to people in Doodly, so my great thanks to him. Um, this is a folder with a few of uh, his images. There's actually about 360 odd of them, so, sorry, 460 of them. So there's a lot, um, and it's gonna be a big job. But the one that I've selected, and my first stop will be in, um, in Photoshop is uh, this fairly simple and inoffensive picture uh, from one of Jesus' parables. Uh, now this is this is Masaru's um, style. He um, he does put uh, some white outline in things, um, and there's black outline, but there's also um, items within the picture that uh, have no outline. So. Um, knowing that one of the things that I'm going to produce is an outline black and white image, the first thing that I have to do is, um, is create that. The problem is resolution. I have got um, here uh, a 360 by 360 pixel image, and that is nowhere near good enough to be able to scale up for use in Doodly. So the first thing I need to do is um, get an outline version of this, which is uh, vector so it will scale up and to do that i need to create a, uh, a an outline layer here in photoshop that i can then take across to illustrator so um, without so much commentary and a bit of action i'll uh, i'll show you some of what i'm doing in here uh, for safety's sake i take a copy of the um, image that I'm working with, reduce its opacity a little bit so that it's I can tell what I've drawn and what I haven't, and add a layer on top, and that's the layer where I will draw. Now, this will be tricky to see if I can record it, but I need to move this across onto my drawing tablet. Okay, after a bit of hit and miss uh, in recording, I'm now over on my drawing tablet and I've, I've drawn a few um, outlines with my one pixel wide um, Photoshop pen. I now have to go through the entire image replicating existing black outlines and creating new ones where there aren't outlines. Some images, if you do this, there'll be no outlines to follow and you're creating you're deciding where all the outlines go. Um, in these images that I'm doing, there's a mixture of the two. So 
So I'm not going to wait, make you wait through this. I'll come back when, uh, when I have uh, just about finished this as we move on. Here we are then, about half an hour later. And you can see now that the um, image has been outlined, including the outside, the ring on the outside, which is part of Masaru's uh, style. Uh, covers all the things that I want in my black and white drawing of this color image. You could you could do more. You could do more in the hair. You could, but that's not my goal in this image. So that completes that. So now I need to bring that. Um, I need to isolate. So I need to isolate the outline of that and save that as a PNG file which is going to go on a trip over to, you can't see me doing it because back on my primary screen, but I'm just saving the PNG of that file and then um, I'll meet you back over, I'll meet you over in Illustrator. Okay, here we are <clears throat> over in Illustrator and my outline, one pixel wide, very rough outline uh, is visible to you. Now, to the rescue comes Illustrator's Live Trace facility. Um, now, if I just use the, the, the basic option on that, uh, it turns it into a vector, but you, as you see, it, it's pretty scratchy. There are a number of um, alternative methods you can use. By default, the, uh, the comic art one is, is the one that sort of thickens things up the most. Uh, but one pixel wide is just not enough to work with. So I have to go down to the live trace options. And down here, I have found that for what I'm doing, and you've got to play with this. Oh, sorry, turn on the preview. Always turn on the preview. Um, you have to play with this until you find out what works for you. And I have found that something like this in these settings produces for me something pretty close to what I want. Um, it's it's a bit of trial and error, but anyway, for the sake of what we're doing here, there's, there's, there's no harm. No harm, no foul. We'll, um, might be better off at 220. No, that's not thick enough. Not for what I want anyway. Okay, so take that trace, and now I export it back to PNG again to pull it back in Photoshop because if you're following the um, <clears throat> two image <clears throat> sorry two image method <clears throat> of doing color then your black and white and your color images have to be absolute perfect overlays for each other absolutely perfect so in doing what I'm doing here I have to come back into Photoshop Oh, sorry, before I come back, I always forget this, always forget this. Before I come back into Photoshop, I've got to deal with the resolution of the outline. Uh, and I'm changing it to the maximum that um, <clears throat> the doodly will accept, which is 1080 in the width. Sorry. In the and uh, because it's now vector, it scales it perfectly for me. Now I export that. as my PNG. And bring it back to Photoshop. Now I obviously, I, I need to put my, I can delete that layer that I used before. And here I need to bring my opacity back to 100% because I don't need it to be faded anymore. And this image now needs to go up to the same size uh, using nearest neighbor as the uh, as the method because with this kind of art that produces the best outcome tried them all and that's just the way it is uh, 
over here and use the magic wand to select white, grab similar, take the inverse. That's just my way of taking all the black from there. I overlay it over here and then move it until I'm convinced that it's in the best place to overlay. reckoning has to be around about there. Now here comes the trick for the art that I'm doing here. It's a Photoshop thing. Other products perhaps have similar options. I put an outer glow because of Masaru's um, art method. I can get away with this. And this just helps me to separate my original um, black outline from my new black outline and what I then have to do and I'm not going to bore you with this detail is that I need to go through this uh, image then and clean up all the edges uh, like here you can see zoom in on that you can see the rough edge that's a little bit of the old black outline next to the new black outline I've got to clean all that stuff up so that I've got a clean image and I'm going to go and do that outside the video and I'll see you back shortly Okay, that job is done, and here we are now looking at the uh, the image scaled to 1080 by 1080, so the size is right. We're looking at it at 100% uh, scaling, so that's how clear it will be when it's scaled up. So we've successfully turned a 360 by 360 into a 1080 by 1080. Uh, now what I need to do is separate out the black and white version from the color version so we're ready to actually then engage with producing the files that Doodly can use. So this, um, you would do this uh, in, in your image however, however it works for you. For me, it works to simply select the white outside, go back to my main image, delete the outside edge. And then I produce a All right, done it wrong. Inverse. Inverse my selection. Go back. And that creates for me a black and white version. Where's my cursor? And there's the color version. Perfect matches. So I will save. Sorry, too many mistakes. Okay, here they are. My two files that are now ready for the next stage. So that's going to put an end to this video which is about preparing an image from scratch. Um, the next video will deal with taking these two images and actually doing the um, work in Illustrator to prepare them for Doodly to create the SVG files.